Hello everybody, welcome back to Evolve. We're going to be playing as Goalie in this one. It's Rogval, Hank, Griff and Parnell. Uh, we're in Rendering Plant, which is cause for Magma. Very reddish map. We'll uh, lock the usual in and we'll kick this one off. Uh, Team-wise, I should say, before we <laughs> just go into this one without saying anything. Uh, Team-wise is good. Uh, the only weak link is obviously Griff. Um, Griff is probably only decent against... don't really know, to be honest. No, he's not really good against anybody. The reason why is because he just can't defend himself at all. And he's only actually... his main effective power, which is the Harpoons, is only effective if the monster's running away from you. But by virtue of this man's job role, uh, the monster is almost certainly always going to be moving towards him. So... Yeah, he's, I'd, I'd probably say he's probably the weakest trapper in the game, to be honest. He's good if you ignore him as the monster, because he can keep pulling you back in place, but... That's going to be the armor buff. Actually a very weird place for this to spawn, I've never... We get out of the way of that. That's the mutator for this map, by the way, we've got the Hammer of Dawn. Coming in on us, we'll lose some HP there, that's fine. Just going to say we are due, doggos. Looking at quite a fast uh, feed to stage 2 in this one. Do need to be mindful though, because I have a feeling it's going to eat that. Uh, they're not too far behind, to be fair. I don't know how the fuck I didn't get hit by that, to be fair. It's fine. They sound incredibly close, which concerns me. I'm going to dip into this cave. Grab it here. I'm going to hear Hank shooting. It's fine. We're quite concealed. We're only going to be following the tracks, and we can move away by being virtue uh, by virtue of being uh, Goliath. What are you accusing me of smashing one of your sensors for? I haven't touched one of them. Alright, oh, yeah, throw the rock from behind the tree, just conceal yourself completely. That's fine. So, yeah, here's evidence of Griff gameplay. He has got Hank actually thinking about it, so that's one of the best uh, options out situations he could be in, to be honest. Anytime Hank exists, he is the priority target. And this is where Griff will become uh, relevant, as you can see. Doesn't stop me from doing that, though. There goes Hank down. Now we go for Griff. Locked into that, I didn't expect him to do that. Yeah, we get out. Smash one of your sensors, mate. We do actually get angry with that. I thought that was uh, going to hit Parnell. I was about to say it was in vain. There we go. We do get a very quick down on Hank. I need to. Dodge that idea. Where get splash. A little green flash is the second life happening. That's a big isolate, massive isolate. 
to the point where Hank isn't going to be irrelevant here. There we go. Try to do a uh, little bit on me though. We're going to go for one more here. May I be ever so sneaky? Yes. There we go. <laughs> he actually thought that was going to be uh, uh, Robal there. Chris out of position again. Shit. Go on the fucking way. Got nothing to do with you at the moment, pal. There we go. We remove domes. Do we get a strike on uh, Valia just to even things out before we go to stage three? She's gonna get the second life here though. Yeah. There's no way she doesn't. Yeah, I was just gonna say. You need to keep consistently damaging her. Gonna happen again here. Yep. It's gonna be a shield, because Hank is here again. I would like to confirm this. Tag with the flame. Just tag with the flame. Good. Get the fuck out. Before uh, Griff gets here. Fucking ridiculous use of HP, but there you go. We are immediately in the next state by virtue of Goliath's speed. And we grab stage 3. I'm going to do things a little bit different here, because I'm going to max the leap instead. Because I've recently been enlightened, because I've always I've, I've only ever done one um, you know type of build throughout the time I've been playing this game, but each max rank ability has its own unique appearance. I kind of want to see what Leap Smash looks like when it's maxed out. Do you get traversals? Yeah, it does. It's not. It's it's subtle, but it is there. It has uh, sparks on it. Look at this. Similar to um, Elder Kraken's Banshee Mine. Very subtle. You see it when he lands. There's that little star shape that goes around it. I think it lingers a bit more as well. Even more little bits of detail. Frame rate's dipping a little bit here. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Nope, we've got to clean 60 FPS. I actually don't have time to do me fucking leap smash on it. There we go. Up to the wall there. It was going to wait to uh, touch the. Do you get that before the ability goes off? Good. Lots of drop armor. It gains more speed actually as well in range, yeah. Nice to be out of that. We can actually just commit. That's going to be a stage 3. There you go. Stage 3 wipe, I should say. It's usually what you're not supposed to let the monster do. That's evidence of it for you. And it's quite a quickie 841. It's not the quickest, but it's... Uh... Yeah, so I'm interested to see what happens then if we max... 
I want to see what the rock looks like on regular Goliath when it's stage 3. I'm assuming it's just going to be like a red lava version of the meteor rock where it's like quite volcanic. Um, and also what they do with his charge. I'm assuming what's going to happen with charge is what they did with stage 2 which they give him at base where he gets flames in front of him maybe. Um, but yeah, it's quite interesting actually to do it on every monster just to see what they do. Max Spider on Gorgon might be quite interesting if there is actually a model change. Yeah, there you go. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll hopefully see you for the next one. Bye.